Paris podcast. Give me a pretzel. Where we bring in um, different feminists from around the country to talk about poetry. It's very fun. So we have our first feminist here, uh, Jen Oliver. Come on Hi. in, Jen. Hey, Jen. Hi. What's up, bro? Sit down. Hey. Right. Sit down. Oh. Don't shake yeah. my hand. What's up, B? Hey. So what trash did you bring to us tonight? Um, poetry. But trash works. Um, I brought the poem How Shall My Animal by Dylan Thomas. Okay. Yeah. And? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I thought you guys had some questions. We do. Know, from, we do. We yeah. do have some questions. We have a couple of questions. That's what your producer told me. So okay. I'm we just... have questions. Yeah. I will be asking the questions. What's the theme of your poem, ma'am? Awesome. Thank you for that wonderful question. Um, the theme of my poem is about is about heartbreak and how you can either let it weld up inside you and control you like a wild animal or how you can conquer it and take control of it and like build off the hurt. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. How did you get there through syntax? Um, through syntax overall, his whole, he has four stanzas and they're all giant pair, they're just giant sentences that like, the first one talks all about how love hurts him and he talks about it as like angry skies and um, um, like an empty skull, an empty body, and him just being dead inside, and it's just very long, and so many commas are used to it throughout the whole thing. Okay. So she just kind of, he kind of flows through the whole poem. Great. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. So, uh, I'm kind of curious as to know, uh, what, what, uh, diction did you see in your poem? Um, thank you for that great question. Mm -hmm. Um, you, if you would just answer the questions yeah. instead of thanking us for the questions, we would do this a lot quicker. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, you should be. Well, okay, um, my favorite part in this one with diction is stanza three where it says fisherman um, hunt fish merman. And it's kind of just interesting because it's men going after men and it's the destruction of love and it's brutality. And that's what she uses a lot. Because you're a feminist. Yeah. And okay. it just it just makes me feel empowered. Okay. Yeah. Um, is that a, is that all you'd like to say about the diction? Um, well, at the very end, Flexible. he talks about how you can rise up against um, the brokenness of your heart, and how you can. It's like you're being knocked off the earth, and that the earth's rolling. But That's what cute. he does, yeah, what he does is he buries the pain within himself. Okay. And I like how he says, I dug a grave in my heart. So it's kind of interesting. Wow. Yeah. So is that like an image also? That you yeah. Use? I mean, what, are there any other various images? Um, various images are like the first stanza where he's talking about the pain and how it's like an empty body that's just empty and he has nothing in it. And it's like a skull that just, you know, is completely empty and how it's like a flaring octopus. And like, who would really want that, you know? That's weird. A yeah. flaring cool. octopus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, so, uh, I think we're done. Thank you. Question. Oh. What does the poem mean for you? The poem to me is that heartbreak hurts, but that you can get over it instead of letting it like control your life. Um, that you can mostly build from all the mistakes that you've learned, and love is kind of a mistake that you have to build from. And like it will not always be perfect, but you'll eventually get there. That's wonderful. I, I yeah. have to say that's that poem is very profound. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was so nice well, talking to you guys. Yeah, I think I think we're out of time. Uh, we're gonna see you later. Okay. Thank you so much for Thank coming in. Yeah. We we really appreciate you. Women and existence. women's first. Women and women's first. Okay. Everybody. I got the whole block wishing they could run with my division, but they gone fishing with no bait. Kid your boy whole way.